All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Akakudash, double honor to the apostles and elders of the great millstone, who were well and preach the truth and truth and sincerity. Shalom uh, to the whole lip. And uh, today's lesson is going to be entitled, uh, There Should Be uh, Many More of Them uh, That Perish than, men, than Them Which Shall Be Saved, all right? Because ultimately, you know, when the Lord Yahweh Ba'ashem, Yahshai, uh, comes back to render destruction, you know, on Babylon the Great, also known as America. All right, he's going to do a lot more killing and saving. All right, because ultimately, uh, he has his uh, one third remnant elect of the nation of Israel that he's going to save. All right, then you got two thirds of the nation of Israel who are going to die off. All right, and then anybody else who's left on the soils of America when the Lord comes back to the shortest place. All right, so without further ado, let's get to it. <coughs> it's the book of Zechariah, chapter 13, verse 8. And it shall come to pass, then all the land saith the Lord. Two parts therein shall be cut off and die, but the third shall be left therein. All right, now that two that two parts. All right, let's go into the two thirds of Israel. You know, when you uh, uh, do two divided by three, all right, that's sixty six point six percent. All right, so a mass bulk of the Israelites that are here on the soils of America are, are going to die when the Lord brings destruction on America. All right, it says uh, it says uh, <clears throat> the third shall be left therein. All right, and uh, <clears throat> select you. That's going to the Lord's elect, all right, beginning, uh, um, you got the 144,000, all right, and then uh, a numerable multitude that follows after them, all right. It says, uh, <clears throat> and I will bring the third part through the fire, and we'll find them as silver is refined, and we'll try them as gold is tried, all right, because also, you know, with uh, the time of Jacob's trouble, you know, uh, soon to come, all right, you know, Jake, you know, the house of Jacob, I right, want to go through a heavy affliction, all right. And, uh, you know, the Lord, you know, this is ultimately you know, going to be a test of our faith, all right, because we're going to have to go through certain situations, all right, where uh, the only option we have left is to depend on Yahweh Bashim Yahshai, all right, and the Lord is going to refine us through those situations that, that we go through, those trials, tests, and tribulations that we go through, whatever falls upon us during Jacob's trouble, all right? It says, uh, <clears throat> they shall call on my name, which is Yahweh Bashim Yahshai, and I will hear them. I will say, it is my people. And they shall say, the Lord is my, the Lord Yahweh Bashim Yahshai is my power. All right, so ultimately, uh, goes that that the further proves, you know, that we're going to have the name of the Lord, you know, in these latter times, right? For those that say that we won't have the name of the Lord or that we don't have the name of the Lord, all right? Because the Lord, like the scripture says in Amos, the Lord reveals his secrets into the service of the prophets. All right, you know, the name of the Lord is a big secret. The names of Yahweh while Yahweh Shai are a secret, all right? Not everybody uh, has, has been blessed, all right, to have the knowledge of those names. All right, the Lord has only blessed a certain few, you know, his elect, his remnant, all right, with the knowledge of his names, all right? This is um, the book of 2nd Ezra, chapter 9, and uh, I will start at verse 7. And everyone <clears throat> that shall be saved and shall be able to escape by his works and by faith, whereby ye have believed, so also we know the Lord, you know, he's going to he's going to save us uh, based on, you know, ultimately uh, his mercy. Uh, Lord, when we be those elect men uh, and women and children, ultimately by the mercy he's going to bestow upon us. All right. You know, ultimately, Lord, will we all uh, desire and want that mercy. All right. Ultimately, you know, faith is what's going to get us out of here. You know, combined with the mercy of the Lord. All right. Because ultimately, um, <clears throat> we show our faith by our works, you know, pursuant to the book of James chapter two. All right. It says, whereby ye have believed shall be preserved from the said perils, and shall see my salvation in my land and within my borders, for I have sanctified them for me from the beginning, all right? Because ultimately, you know, the elect, you know, were predestined, all right, to receive salvation, all right? Because the Lord had already made up in his mind, you know, who, you know, he's going to bestow to get the faith upon and who wasn't going to have to get the faith, all right? Because the elect in these latter times <clears throat> would uh, show their faith through their works, all right? This is uh, verse 9. Then shall they be in pitiful case. Now, this is going to the two-thirds. Then shall they be in pitiful case, which now have abused my ways, and they that have cast them away, despite which have dwell in torments. All right, now, and how they do that? All right, you know, the two-thirds, they come across the prophets. All right. It's like you got the prophets, uh, the prophets of the Lord on the highways and byways, uh, trying to bring Israel back to Yahweh Bashim Yashai. All right, uh, teaching them. And telling them, you know, where they're going off it and how to fix it. All right, but, you know, Jake, <coughs> Jake is too caught up in their wickedness. 
all right, that they don't want to forsake their wicked lifestyle because it pleases their flesh, all right, they don't want to put that off and come serve the Lord, all right. So that's what that's what this is going into, all right. How how they've abused his ways, all right, by casting off the word of Yahweh by seeing outside to fulfill their own lust. All right, and you know, scripture tells us uh in the book of Proverbs, chapter 13, verse 13, that whoso despises the word shall be destroyed, all right. And you know, ultimately, you know, when you despise the word, you don't want anything to do with it, you know. As our Lord Yahweh Shah said uh, in the book of John, if you love me, keep my commandments. All right. Now, what's the opposite of love? Hate. So if you love the Lord, that means you keep his commandments. What does it mean if you hate the Lord? All right, you're, you're not doing what he says. You're not keeping his commandments. Or you're blatantly being wicked against his laws, against him. All right. It says, uh, for such as in their life I received benefits and have not known me. All right, because, you know, you know Jake, Jake got nice jobs. All right, uh, nice cars, nice homes. And, you know, they're, they're in the security. All right, but ultimately they don't, they don't acknowledge, they don't acknowledge the true power will see how about Shimei Ashai, all right? Ultimately, they believe they got it on their own when the scripture tells us, all right? Uh, real quick. <clears throat> this is the book of Sirach or Ecclesiastes, chapter 11, verse 14. Prosperity and adversity, life and death, poverty and riches come of the Lord, all right? So ultimately, the Lord, you know, he's the one who got, you know, uh, everybody in their uh, uh, certain position, all right? There's certain lot, Okay. You know, uh, people, you know, Jake, you know, Jake who got these riches, all right, you know, and people in general who got these riches, all right, who in their, who are in a, a high stature, so to speak, all right, they think they got up by themselves, all right, they don't acknowledge the Lord, you know, for the positions that they're in, all right, that's why it says they have not known the Lord, all right, now, ultimately, another way they haven't known the Lord is how, by not keeping his ways, all right, so this is back to the book of Second Ezra, chapter 9, and, um, uh, in verse 11, it says, And they that have loathed my law while they yet had liberty, and, you know, uh, having liberty, all right, means you know, the freedom to repent, all right, because the Lord, he's giving you a chance right here and right now while the prophets are still on the highways and byways and still doing these video pistols, all right, to get yourself right, all right, but because Jake is too caught up in the world, too caught up in the flesh, all right, they don't want to take heed because they want to do what's, uh, what feels good unto them, all right, it says, uh, <clears throat> When as yet place of repentance was open unto them, understood not, which is now, all right, but despised it. The same must know after death by pain, all right, because, you know, the Lord, you know, once this truth is presented to you, presented to you, all right, uh, the Lord holds you to a higher standard and you're held accountable for your action, all right? So, mostly when the Lord comes back and starts judging, all right, there's going to be no excuse in that day, all right, because the Lord, he he tried to warn you, all right, he tried to warn you through his men, but ultimately you slapped, uh, you slapped his hand out your face pretty much. All right, and didn't take heed to his instruction or his correction. All right, in verse thirteen, <clears throat> and therefore be thou not curious how the ungodly shall be punished. All right, so we're not supposed to be worried, you know, uh, on you know how the two thirds and these other people who are not the elect are are, are, are going to get punished or how they're going to receive judgment. All right, because ultimately, you know, uh, being in the spirit, you know, showing a sympathy because look, the Lord has blessed us with the understanding of scriptures. All right, and we know why the perishing, all right, because they, they didn't want to take heed into, into the ways of Yahweh by Shimei Ashai, all right, but ultimately, you know, getting caught up, you know, how, you know, the, the uh, how they're going to be punished, all right, and that, 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 can, that can mess with your brain, all right, and ultimately the scriptures tell us to work out our own, uh, work out our own fear with Shlaki, work out our own salvation with fear and trembling, all right, so we're not supposed to be, you know, worrying about, you know, those who don't want to take heed. All right, because ultimately we we desire a crown. All right, we desire that salvation. All right, we can't let anyone get in the way of that. You know, uh, real quick, <clears throat> this is uh, I'm quoting a lot of scriptures, but I want to get some of them. This is uh, the Book of Revelation, chapter three, verse eleven, and this is in the red letter. So it's our Lord Yahweh Shai speaking. Behold, I come quickly. Hold that fast which thou hast. All right, and the Lord is telling us to hold fast to what. All right, it's truth, the faith we have in them, all right? Because this is the only thing that's going to sustain us, as the scripture tells us, wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of our times, all right? So ultimately, you know, this is things, you know, we got to, this this truth, you know, this truth that the Lord has bestowed upon us, all right? We have to keep a grip on it, all right, so to speak. It says uh, that no man take thy crown, all right? That no man take thy reward, thy reward, no man take thy salvation, all right? So ultimately, that's why the scripture tells us to work out our own salvation with fear and trembling, because, 
we can't let anybody, you know, not not a single individual, you know, get in the way of uh, of the reward we desire, of the salvation we desire. All right. This is uh, back in the book of Second Ezra, chapter nine, and uh, a, ver- a verse thirteen at the top. And therefore, be thou not curious how the ungodly shall be punished. And when, but inquire how the righteous shall be saved, whose the world is, and for and for whom the world is created. Because ultimately, at the end of the day, you know, the Lord is only dealing with the elect. All right, so ultimately, we should only be worried about the elect. All right, how you know how the elect is going to be saved out of here. All right, not worried about how these two thirds and these heathens are going to get judged there on the soils of America. All right, because ultimately, our scriptures uh, uh, say, uh, let let the multitude perish uh, that was born in vain. All right, verse fourteen. Then answered I and said, I have said before, and now do speak, and will speak it also hereafter, that there be many more of them which perish than the, them which shall be saved, like as a wave is greater than a drop. Right? So, you know, just compare, you know, a drop of water to just like an entire wave, all right? You know, you barely notice that drop. So ultimately, you know, when the Lord uh, brings destruction and salvation, it's going to look like, you no, know, the Lord is not going to be saving anybody. But so you also got to keep it, keep in account, you know, one third of the house of Israel shall, shall be saved, all right, because you got the 144,000, all right, and the innumerable multitude. So an, uh, an innumerable number of Israelites are going to be saved, and also an innumerable number of Israelites are going to be destroyed, all right, along with the heathens that are on the soils of America. All right, so the Lord, you know, as uh, uh, Elder Manatha Zagba in the uh, South Carolina camp, you know, uh, likes to say, the Lord is going to set a new high score for death, all right. This is um second Ezra seven, uh, beginning in verse twenty, for they be for there be many that perish in this life, because they despise the law of the Most High that is set before them. All right, how do they show that they despise the law of the Most High, by not doing anything that the Lord commanded them by being blatantly disobedient to Yahweh Bashim Yashai? All right, for the Most High have given straight commandments to such as came what they should do to live even as they came, and what they should observe to avoid punishment. So ultimately, you know, the Lord, he's, he's giving you a chance, all right? He has, you know, his word out there, all right, set up to lead the children of Israel into the path of salvation, all right? Like the scripture tells us, you know, the Lord's laws are not grievous. It's ultimately the Lord's laws are here for our benefit, all right? But Jake, you know, too caught up in the ways of heathen, all right, that, that in the ways of this world, that they don't want nothing to do with the ways of how about Shemi Asai, or to fashion their lifestyle as the Lord wants them to, all right? It says, uh, and what they should do, and what should, what to like it, and what they should observe to avoid punishment, right, man? So the Lord, you know, has his prophets out there, you know, telling you, all right, telling you what to do, uh, telling you to get right, all right, before you have Bashim Yashai comes back and destroys his world, so you won't get caught up in the destruction that he's bringing, all right? Because ultimately, you know, this, the destruction that the Lord is bringing is for Esau, Edom, all right, and these other heathens. But since Jake want to join hand in hand with the wicked, all right, they're going to get, they're going to receive the same punishment. As Esau will, all right? It says, um, verse 22, Nevertheless, they were not obedient unto him, but spake against him, and imagined vain things, and see themselves by their wicked deeds, and said to the Most High, that he is not, and knew not his ways. But his law they have despised, and denied his covenants and his statutes, have they not been faithful, and have not performed his works. All right, so ultimately, you know, Jake, um, uh, and Jake has just committed all manners of wickedness, all right? You, know, you got idolatry, all right, adultery, all right, just, just, just blatant wickedness, all right? Because of these things that Jake is doing, the wickedness that Jake has committed, all right, that's why a mass majority of Israelites are going to die because mass majority of Israelites don't want to get their lives right with Yahweh Bashim Yashai, all right? Mass majority of Israelites want to continue in their wickedness. Mass majority of Israelites want to continue to uh, live in the flesh, uh, follow after the flesh, fulfill the lust of the flesh, all right? But also, we, you know, the Lord, you know, the Lord wants us to uh, put off, you know, the works of the flesh, all right? You know, also, us in this truth, you know, it's a battle between the spirit and the flesh on a day-to-day basis, all right? Discipline that flesh because, also, you know, in this battle, you know, Satan, he doesn't want us to, you know, uh, uh, get this truth, all right? He wants us to dive off into other things, all right? But ultimately, the goal is to is to conquer this flesh as our Lord Yahweh Shai did, and ultimately be like our Lord Yahweh Shai and uh, receive those glorious bodies, and uh, receive salvation, all right? It says, um, <clears throat> verse, 
verse 25. And therefore, edges for the empty are empty things, and for the full are the full things. So ultimately, at the end of the day, you know, every single individual is going to get the just do. All right. And to back that up, this is the book of uh, Revelation, chapter 22. So like you. In verse 12, red letter again, which is our Lord Yahweh Shai speaking. And behold, I come quickly, and my reward is with me to give every man according as his work shall be. All right, so ultimately, if you be doing righteousness, doing right by Yahweh by Shemi Shai, following his law, statutes, and commandments to the best of your ability, doing what's pleasing unto him, and ultimately, the Lord is going to reward you with salvation. All right, he's going to reward you with that crown. But if you're out here blatantly doing wickedness, all right, uh, blatantly transgressing the laws of Yahweh by Shemi Shai, being blatantly disobedient unto him, all right, the reward for you is death. Because the scriptures tell us the wages of sin is death. All right. This is uh This is Isaiah chapter sixty six and verse fifteen. For behold, the Lord will come with fire and with his chariots like a whirlwind, to render his anger with fury and his rebuke rebuke with flames of fire. Because ultimately you know the Lord, you know, is coming back to do major destruction, all right? And ultimately, you know, he's going to be controlling the ICBM missiles, all right, that are going to touch down in America, all right? And then also, you got the uh, concentrated laser beams that are going to be shooting the uh, fire out of the chariots, all right? It says, uh, verse 16, for by fire and by his sword, or the Lord plead with all flesh, all right? Now, where he plead goes to judge, because the Lord is coming back to judge, all right? As the book of Revelation uh, tells us, you know, the Lord, your house is coming back, uh, and righteousness to judge and make war, all right, roughly paraphrasing. It says, um, and the slain of the Lord shall be many, all right, once again, you know, the Lord is going to set, you know, uh, a record uh, for the death, a, a high record for death, all right, because once again, you know, the Lord is coming back to do uh, more killing, all right, than he is saving, all right. So, Lord willing, this lesson was edifying. I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Akakwadash, Double honor to the apostles and elders of the great millstone who rule well and preach this truth and truth and sincerity. Shalom for the hope we lick. The Lord will not see you in the next lesson. So then, Shalom.